Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Chris here. And uh, today in the mail, finally, I got my Nexus 5. And so I wanna do a little review on that. I've been getting to use it all day. So while it's fresh in my mind, um, I'll kind of give a little perspective into it. Um, keep in mind, I, you know, in fact, I'm recording right now on the Nexus 4 phone. So, uh, and I love the Nexus 4, absolutely loved it. So. When the Nexus 5 came out at 350, I got the white version. Um, so it was three, 350 bucks. I pounced on it, bought that thing. And I'm really glad I did. And I'm gonna show you why. So here's the photo. Oh, well, I guess I should show you. For some reason, people like to officially unbox things. So um, it came in this like little package. UPS guy dropped it off. This was just standard shipping. Um, it had the Google invoice and then the, let's see, the packaging here. And we have, let me see if there's anything good in here. Oops. So just some manuals, um, nothing really cool, a charger. That's it, um, but that's all you need. It had the phone in there, so that's the cool part. I usually save my cases, so don't know why. Kind of memories, I guess. If I ever want to sell the phone again, which I don't ever plan on doing, because this is a sweet phone. And I also, along with it, I ordered a Spigen Nexus 5 case. This was off of eBay for five bucks. It came with a or ten bucks. Sorry, shipped. It came with a screen protector and a hard case. And finally, here's the phone. Uh, th this does have the case on it, as you can see. I think the case look it makes it look super sleek. Um, it's really quite thin. Um, when I first picked it up, my first thought was, "Wow, this is light," because it is significantly lighter than the Nexus. Um, four. I don't, well, I mean, I don't know measuring it, how much lighter it is, but just by the feel of it, it felt like probably half as light or pro that's probably an exaggeration, probably three fourths of what the Nexus four felt like. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn it on here. Some new things about it. Obviously it's really fast. It's a little speed demon. Um, when you first get it, you have to download an update that's like 128 megs and it like downloaded in 10, 10 seconds with my wireless AC router. And so that, that is fast. Um, I was thoroughly impressed. Um, I was just thoroughly impressed by that. Thought it was quite exceptional. I'm guessing it has some sort of different wireless card in it. Maybe it does run off AC, so it can take advantage of that or a higher operating frequency. Um, but, or sorry, uh, five gigahertz band, uh, dual band or something like that. And so let's see, the first thing that I really liked was that the bezel is a little smaller. Um, it kind of like, just through the fact that the home button here on the Nexus 4, this was all blacked out. There was a little strip of black that this was always blacked out. So I like that on the 5. Um, maybe that's a Kit Kat thing, so the 4 will probably be getting that. Um, the display is beautiful. You really can't... I, I wish I had some better definition, but that that's just a stock photo, and it, it's just, it really is beautiful. Um, gets quite bright. Also, I should probably turn it up. Yeah, it, it really does. It gets quite bright. Um, not noticeably brighter than the Nexus 4. That's all probably the same. Um, but it's fast. I haven't really played any games with it or anything. The biggest difference I've noticed was there's never... Oops. A lot of stuff open. There's never any lag when I open like something like that. Look, it just opens instantly if I go to the Google page. Bam. It's there. Um... Love that. Just love it. Uh, one of the new features is you just swipe uh, left and you get their little, the Google now. Whereas before you had to hold the home button and go to Google and it would take you here. But you just swipe left. Um, 
less menu screens, which I like, because on the Nexus 5, I think that was locked in. You had to have, or on the Nexus 4, sorry, you had to have four of them. Um, so that. And volume, pretty much the same. I didn't really notice any difference. Uh, this phone is beautiful. I mean, I just think it's really sleek. Heck of a deal for 350 bucks off contract. Um, I, you know, in all honesty, I recommend getting this phone. I love the Nexus devices. I have the Nexus 4, 5, and 7. And I, they're all great. Uh, battery has seemed to... The battery it seems like there's not really any improvement there. Um, still waiting to see. I haven't run it through a full cycle. I started probably at 12 today, and we're already at, uh, let's see the percentage here. We're already at 38% battery, so I don't know. Um, but I love it. Um, you can say, the one other thing is you can say like, okay, Google, and it'll come up. Like it's always listening to you. The phone does have to be on for you to say that. I have that turned off right now. I never really get into those features, um, and it does waste battery, so I just turned it right off. And yeah, that's it. Um, the case also highly recommend this case. It's beautiful. Uh, came there's a, there is a screen protector on there, believe it or not. Um, so I recommend the phone. Um, I recommend it because it's cheap. It is 4G LTE, finally. Um, it's got a 2.3 gigahertz processor, I believe. Snapdragon, something like that, 800. Um, 16 gigabytes, so plenty of storage space. That's, that's all I ever really use. Um, and main reasons for upgrading from the 4 would be the bigger screen, higher resolution, faster processor, um, Camera, I haven't messed around with it a lot. It's kind of, on initial thought, I, I felt it was kind of the same, but we'll see. Um, but amazing phone, uh, highly recommend it. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'm gonna go ahead and post this video, thanks.